to Mr. Farage and his troops, I want to say uh, that they make a lot of noise for having serious seats in the British elections. Yeah, you don't find that? And everybody said here, yeah, uh, it's a, uh, yeah, uh, everybody said here, we will miss our, our British colleagues uh, of the Lib Dem, of the Labour. Well, I, I don't, I will not miss the Brexiteers going out. I can tell you, uh, I will not uh, miss them. Saying that, uh, dear colleagues, there is a consent to be given by this parliament. And I know that everybody says and thinks, oh, this consent that will be automatically because it's like that. We have foreseen that this uh, consent procedure will end uh, in plenary on the 29th of January. But in the meanwhile, there is a problem to be solved. I have received, since the elections in Britain, hundreds and hundreds of letters and mails of British citizens living in Europe, panicking about a statute. I have received hundreds of mails of uh, EU citizens living in Britain, panicking about their statute. And I think we need to solve that first before we give our consent on this Brexit treaty. <laughs> Why, dear colleagues, never citizens, British or Europeans alike, can be the victims of this, in my opinion, not very intelligent choice of Brexit. And I want to do an appeal to the Prime Minister of Britain, to Boris Johnson, to be generous in his victory and to give to all the European citizens and the British citizens alike living in the continent, on the continent, the full rights as they have today, automatically to all of them, no ifs and no buts, as he always says, to do so. As I want also to tell you that more and more people are coming back to another, and I conclude on that, other issue of European associated citizenship for British citizens who want to continue to feel that they are European. And I think we have to be open to that request. Thank you very much.